Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome to another episode of Shovel Knight King of Cards. In this episode, we will continue forth with our adventure, now that we have uh, conquered just about everyone in cards in the last episode. So much to the point that I could not get any of the actual adventure to continue. So, um... Since the last episode, I don't think anyone really ever voted on where the next way I should go is. So because of that, I'm going to take that choice into my own hands and I'm going to decide we head to the Lich Yard next. I know our next targeted place should be Pride More Keep due to the whole airship objective, but I usually like going for a lot of side collectibles first, you know have that whole completionist desire within my blood. So, let's go ahead and head to the Lich Yard first, then. So, the Lich Yard at Sunken Town is where we're going first. So, let's go. And, we start out with immediately a very scary looking monster that I do not know what that was about. Bam, bam. Okay, I figured them out now. Wait, hold on. Is there anything in here? No, there isn't. You never know when there's secrets hidden in the walls, because there are lots of instances like that that I've experienced throughout my adventures playing this game. And you never know. Alright. Let's get a move on. Oh! Okay, good play, but I'm better. And I'll always be better. I wonder if there's anything hidden in that. I don't want to risk it. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I do not trust... Ooh. Hello. Okay, oh wait, but how do I get up there now? Oh no. It tricked me. Okay, I got an idea if this could potentially lead to the enemies respawning. It does. Oh, come on. Hold on, could you just move it in the right direction so I can get up? Thank you. That worked out splendidly, thanks to you. Okay. Okay, that scared me. I was... It's so easy to fall into it, because that water down below, that can, in fact, kill you. So it's like, you got to be careful if you don't want to die. So I have to be careful in these instances as well, where it's, once again, easy to die in this game. Alright, All right, everything's restored. I don't know if there's any hidden secrets anywhere. It's always hard to tell with these kind of levels. I'm... Because I see that door up there. You guys see that, right? You just get that distinct feeling like you missed something. Ooh, checkpoint. So, you might notice that these checkpoints look different from... Oh, okay. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, and that is because I believe in some versions of this game. Uh-oh. Please tell me I can still get up to that. Oh. I don't think I can get up to that. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this guy uh, kill me. Because, um... I would like to get that thing up there. And I can't exactly do it without those blocks. So, I'm going to... Just walk up to it like that. So I have an easier time getting to it. So I would like to see what's up here. Now I don't know if... Okay, yes they do. Do... Oh, oh, oh it moves. Okay. So is it like just go back and forth or... Okay, so the ghosts and... Oh, these guys move too. Okay. Oh. Well this is easy. I just knock them off and then... No! 
Uh, oh. And it was right there, too. Oh, I hate ghosts. Always finding the right openings to get you mad at them. Don't worry about it. We didn't lose a lot of gold. I'm sure we can recover from it. Neat idea, though, of, um... Uh, okay. Yeah, that may be something that's... That oh, wait, I got it. I used the... Come on! There's only one checkpoint in this. It's a well, yeah, these levels are surprisingly short, but I would like to get to these. And I would like to get all collectibles. Okay? I like that idea of at least making an opening through going down. That's a good idea to ensure victory against your opponents. Okay. Idea number two. I do that. Okay, that works. And, okay, maybe I'll show it when I come back to this level later, but basically, um, the reason why those checkpoints don't have, like, the gold coating over them anymore is the fact that I believe that those checkpoints are destroyable if you're, like, wanting some gold. I'm not, mainly because I like having my checkpoints. If you guys really want me to destroy them, I'll think about coming back later, but for now, I'm keeping those checkpoints up for uh, safety purposes and... Oh! Oh! Haha! -ha! Okay, now I just gotta wait for that platform to come back up. Get over here. Come to the king. Okay, what do we got in here? An apple... Nope, that's the wrong way. Take that. Take that! Uh oh I couldn't think of a way to get back, and I got a little bit hesitant there. And this is why I like having the checkpoints, because it makes it so much easier. No, I don't want to go that way! Oh, no! Can I back out of this? No, I can't. Uh. uh oh. I did not mean to get rid of that. Alright. Alternative planning time. Okay. Glad I got past that. I gotta get out of here. If I want to stay in this game. Okay, not bad. Alright, keep moving. Okay, I had no reason to do that. I just don't want to risk getting hit by the ghost and getting knocked back again. Okay, so it counts that I collected that metal already, so I don't have to worry about that again. Oh, I missed it. Oh, wait! No! I always mess up my opportunities. Okay, maybe I could still do... I just had to fall off that, didn't I? Okay, this... Okay, no, don't go that way, because I do not want to go in there again. For now, since I've already collected everything in that area, let's just keep moving forward. Because I do not want to keep having to put up with uh, simple mistakes like that all the time. Okay. Okay, made it up to the treasure this time. Okay, I don't trust this. Okay, that works out well for me. Now I wait for the right time to t hit the ghost! I'm not going down the same way as I did last time. I forgot, what were my abilities again? Pound health hearts out of your enemies. Send forth a flying lance. Release a rat with a safety bomb attached. Reclaim gold and shred enemies with it with confetti. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. This is another moving one. This is another moving one. And... Uh-oh. Okay, I gotta make sure I keep taking those guys out, because... If I let anything weigh this thing down... Uh, no! <sighs> Every time. Here we go again. Alright, just run for it. Yeah, although it, the game it's not as, you know, impactful whenever you die in this game, it still has that feeling of pain that a lot of games have. Okay, let's try and not do that again. Okay, I think as long as I don't jump here, that thing won't jump, so I should be safe there, and... No, you don't. Okay. Come on, now. Okay, let's equip this. In case any more decide to come on so I can pound some hearts out of them. Oh, they're going to weigh it down. Oh! Dad! Uh, what was I supposed to do? There were too many of them aboard. Get out of the way. Go back. Get that back. You eventually reach the point where you just can't take any more of this game's nonsense and just. This is the kind of stuff that makes me not want to fully complete this game. It's when the game starts throwing this kind of stuff at me. Okay, let me think of. Okay, let's stick with that for the time being. Did not like that. Okay, take care of that. Ghosts. Take care of that. And these guys just don't let up. I don't care. I'm going to ensure this thing stays afloat. And these... And all these enemies are not helping. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I made it to the end. Oh. Really not a fan of these kind of levels. We're just all this annoying stuff. There's always those instant death pitfalls everywhere. Never liked them. Never will. Till then, let's get a move on to the Ectoplasm Chasm. See what we got here. Reign of Decadence. Oh no, what is that we're standing on? Ooh. Okay. Oh, you... Oh, they... These things don't allow me to jump. Oh, those tricksters. Come on. Oh no, does that mean I can't continue forward? Oh wait, no, I still can. Yeah. That ain't gonna prevent me from advancing forward. No siree. Oh, that's right. I have to dig those up like that. Okay, I can still bounce off other enemies, too. Okay, I know not to hit the gravestones, because if I remember correctly, back in the... Like... Oh, come on. Uh, come on. Ah, there's got to be a way I can... Yes! That is exactly what I needed. No! Oh, thank goodness for invincibility frames. I love you, invincibility frames. I... <sighs> Always forget about that kind of stuff. 
Is this supposed to be like one of those areas that you're not supposed to go to yet? As there's like some sort of indicator telling me I can't go here. Well, I'm managing to make progress though is the thing, so I see that this like is probably supposed to be how I'm supposed to be doing it. In my personal opinion. Oh! Ah! Ah! Okay. Ah! Okay. I just have to figure out how to get in here if I'm not even allowed to jump. So that is a very good question. How exactly do I get over there? If I can't even j jump that far. That's imp that looks impossible. Hold on. I don't have any useful equipment. Let me see what I can do. Ah! Oh, I made it. Okay, I missed one of the bags, but I think I'll be okay with that. Because I would prefer to not want to have to go after that right now. Right now, I'm okay with whatever gold I miss. Um, oh, oh, okay. This is working out pretty good. A lot better than I expected, because this game... Oh boy, it's a doozy of a challenge, I tell you that. Okay. I can see this working. Just have to play my moves correctly. I played them correctly. Got rewarded well. Oh no, um, does that fire hurt me? I'm guessing it does. But it is possible to put it out. Okay. Oh, I know when something's hidden up there. Let's see if I can... If I can get him to come down here. Because I can tell there's something... Most... Or, no, just do that. I knew it! Secret area! Oh no, how? Oh, like that. I like how they're taking, like, just about all the music they've used in this game. And they're putting, like, that kind of twist on it. I like that. Okay, wait for the platform to show up. This is something I personally like, is when they come up with a unique mechanic that actually feels like it's kind of improving upon the gameplay. I would rather not deal with those toads right now, so... Or at least the least amount of them as possible, so I'm gonna try and take a route that uh, prevents me from having to interact with them, though I might have to here if... I do not have to wake up any of those toads! And it was just for a healing item that wasn't necessary due to me already being at full health. Personally, I honestly don't know how I'm doing so good right now. I ain't falling for that. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's dead end. Okay, I thought I saw something, but nope. So there's like a variety of paths the game appears to be offering me. Oh, there's the end. I see it. Oh, I didn't even see the fire. Okay. Okay, that level was simpler than the last one. In terms of its mechanics. Yeah, I remember no matter what mode you're playing on, the Lich Yard always has some annoying me. I missed one? Hold on, I'm going to need to go back in there, because I do not know how I missed one. I checked carefully. I should not have missed one. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Had to do this, then that. So where could I have missed the second medal, exactly? So I would think I'd have checked carefully. 
So I'll re-enter the level to double check. Okay, so there was that metal there. Which I already got. So that means that the other metal could be anywhere up here. No! Oh! Duh. Wasn't paying attention. That's one thing that... I don't like about some games is when they have some instant death mechanic to where you put in tons of hard work, practice to a game, and then some insta-kill thing like that gets you. Okay. I'm not going to make the same mistake this time, so I'm going to make sure that I safely get up here. Okay. So I'm going to keep a close eye out to make sure that I... Don't miss any potential secrets. Because I know there's got to be something hidden around here somewhere that I could have potentially missed. And I'm going to make sure I find it. Oh yes, I remember this hidden chest. So where could I have missed a hidden metal is the question. I don't want to risk the chicken. Alright, I'm going to have to think carefully, because normally this kind of stuff doesn't happen. So I'm going to have to think about, you know, where I could have missed this exactly. Oh wait, I see it. I, I had to go down here. Okay, so now I found where I need to go. And is the metal in here? No, some sort of a uh, wild creature of some sort. Thank you very much for uh, allowing for an opening for me to escape. And ooh, that thing dropped quite a bit of gold for me. Oh, you will regret that day you did decided to do that to me. And, of course, all of the items they drop land right on the spikes. Alright, I'm not letting you do anything now. No! Okay, what's important is that I got the metal. Though I am interested in seeing what's over there. So, And that was quite a bit of gold I dropped, so I will go back for that. Oh, come on! <sighs> Great. Of course, I can jump off of anything except that. Curse you! Underdeveloped in game mechanics that make no sense until it's too late. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, one thing at a time, please. Well, at least I got more gold out of that enemy, but... Oh, that's right, this. How am I not out of that enough to... Okay. What's important there is that I got the metal, so... I'm just glad I got the medal at this point, because at this point I... Ooh, secret exit. Alright, I'm gonna do that for safe me measures. And, okay, why not? Let's go for that. And, uh, okay, I could go for that. Ex oh, I have to keep going right, because I can't jump up to it yet. Okay. We got this, guys. Okay. So is this like a secret exit? 
Like in uh, Mario, New Super Mario Bros. It is! Okay. So now I know there's secret exits in these levels. Okay, that, so we have the Eerie Manor that I've unlocked and the Duelist's Grave. Let's take a look at the Duelist's Grave. Okay, what do we got? Duelist D. Halt. There's danger ahead. A magic most foul has bewitched my trusty dueling glove. I cannot wear it. The glove is simply falls through my hand. Perhaps you'd equip it instead? Of course. Attack it in succession with quick slaps. Oh, that's right. I remember in the last episode now the new ability. Okay, attack in succession with quick slaps. Let's make haste. Shoulder bash not, lest we meet our untimely demise. I get the feeling you've already met your... Mm, never mind. See you shortly. So, no shoulder bashing according to what he says. Oh, so it's like a little quick slash is what it does. So what we have to do is instead of the usual, you know, shoulder bash, we do that instead and we're not allowed to undo it otherwise. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, is there something over here? Nope, dead end. Okay, so I can't shoulder bash here, otherwise I die. Okay. That makes sense. So I'm like testing out a new ability. Oh, I forgot about secret passageways in this game. Alright, so I'm guessing one of these is going to lead to a way forward. I'm guessing this secret passageway over here is going to have something. Or just have the way forward. Okay. Alright, I get it now, though. Okay, this one's actually pretty useful compared to some of my other abilities that I've obtained so far. I know I have a few useful abilities, but I don't think I've had any as useful as this. Alright, playing it safe. And of course it comes back up right as I jump up to grab the gold. Alright, how do you like that? We've survived. The glide wing awaits. And I'll be able to pursue the Justice Crown and find spirits. That sounds like my own. Wait, what? How do you know about the glide wing? Well, I'm the Justice Champion they've chosen. And I aim to become King of Cards with the help of their crew. How curiously bizarre. Come with me, would you? Alright, we gotta play ourselves a game of cards against this guy, I'm guessing. Considering what he's saying. So far, I haven't died from running out of health yet, which is a pretty good thing. It Mother! What are you doing here? I was just thinking, I just noticed she was there like, what? Sugar Plum, here you are. I grabbed one of your little rat ropes, and suddenly I was whisked up here. Your dear mother was just telling us all about the many virtues of King Pridemore. I just love King Primore. I read it in King's Weekly that he was a real stickler for the rules. Mom, hush. You know you're not to disturb my quest. Stay out of my thing. Without rules, one can't be much of a ruler. Perhaps your mother's insight could help guide our quest. Oh, what a thrill, dearies, to fly through the sky and perhaps even catch a glimpse of a king. This is nonsense. Hogwash. Mother, say nothing to my servants. <laughs> so does that mean she's going to be cooking up here from now on? Uh, looks like the bard has something to say. King Knight, ahoy, avast, bonjour. Any new merit medals? Twenty merit medals. You're quickly becoming a bard in your own right. It's not much, but I've saved ninety gold to mark the occasion. Would you accept it? Of course. I have another form of patronage, sire. Please allow me to regale, 
regale you with a verse you've inspired. Ahem. <clears throat> Liches love amulets. This much is true, but jewelers are eager to bid them adieu. When selling one's masterworks brings people health, one tends to start stacking up stock on the shelf. Okay, interesting. Oh, so she cooks on the airship now. What a grand valley! Finally, some space to maneuver. I can create some fishes that'll help really help. That'll really give you vigor. Sweetie, have you brought some coin? I'd love to cook for you. I still don't get why she's making us cook just to... Oh, so now we can spend our medals here to get Viger. Okay, well, so far we haven't had any trouble like that. But just to play it safe, I am going to spend some gold to get my hands on a lovely hearty meat pie. So I'm sure those will greatly help. Now, there he is. What is this guy doing again? Surprised to see you here in the glide wing. In the in the oh yeah, he just says the thing. Oh, that's right. He has like certain abilities. I forgot. Well, it doesn't matter now. I already spent all my gold. King Knight, you didn't tell me I'd become a ghost unsuitable as a Joustus champion. You could have told me. Yes, well, it was a bit of a complicated matter, you see. I cannot compete. But I still carry coin. May do patronage be more useful to you than it was to me here. Okay. Care to play chat? Yep, I figured you'd want to play a game. I'm guessing that's always going to happen every time I invite someone back to the airship. In one of those areas. Let us duel. Then my body may be insubstantial. But the tension is palpable. Alright, let's see what this guy has up his sleeve, depending on who goes first. Okay, he's made that move. So, let's play a move of our own to play against that. See, so it doesn't seem to have anything that can directly move it in there yet. So, what I can do is I can play a card that can prevent him from really doing anything impactful. So first, let's start out with a move that'll be useful to me, like... Ooh, this, uh... I'm just thinking about a good place to put that. Now, let's start with some of my good cards. Let's start here, because he'll only be able to move my card left from there and knock it into the jewel. Okay, not bad. In terms of where the game's currently going. I'm getting just a little bit worried about that though, so let's knock that out of there with that. And he graciously knocks my card that way. To where, okay. I gotta start making some moves here. Otherwise, something bad might happen. I know it. Ooh, actually, it'd be a good move to place my card there. Yeah. We almost got it. Um. So let's make our next move be... Let's move this card... Let's move that there for now to make sure I'm taking up those spaces and figures. And, well, actually, we've pretty much won at this point because in terms of the moves that he's capable of making, I would say, wait a minute. Oh, no, he can't do that. Let's say my safest move to make would be to go ahead, make sure he can't counter that. So I'd say my best move would be to move that there, because then 
in terms of the cards that he has, he can't uh, do anything. Except push his card into mine, or something like that to end the game. So as long as I... Oh, no. Oh, did he... Oh, you dare. Okay, well, two can play at that game. Alright. You want to go there? I'll tell you what, we can gladly go there. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, yes, that's pretty much my best move right now. Is to prevent them... Of course, prevent them from winning. Yeah, that's my best move I can make. To prevent them from winning. And now, I need a card that can push right, but I don't have anything. So there's a guarantee I won't be able to knock them out of that. We're pretty much beginning to reach a bit of a stalemate where we can't really do much of anything. I gotta think carefully about what I want to do next. Because I don't want to do anything that could lead to them winning, though... In terms of the cards that they have, and the cards that I have, I would say I am about on the road to victory. It's like, here's the thing, I can't... Oh, I could just end the game like that. I didn't even notice. I wasn't paying attention there. I was focusing on getting that card on top to go left. But that brings victory to me, and I can take Duelist D as my own. Let us take that. Oh, I forgot to edit my deck. Hold on. Can I go back and edit my deck? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is a really good card. So I gotta... Well, obviously get rid of that. For it. That's a better version of that. Alright, good game, buddy. Any new additions added to the airship before I continue forward? I just want a quick check before continuing forward. So far... Ooh! That's finished. The progress is going well. It's not easy to estimate the marshal costs, you know. But it's getting there. The cost will be at... 2,500 gold to lay the color foundation. Okay. Yes, I know. But I don't have the gold right now. I can't just say yes and... Do you have anything new to say? Um, so far, no. Okay. Is that just gonna be a... Bit of a useless character up till now? Let's see, what do you got, Chester? I like how they have, like, more of a design to him now. Oh, yeah, these cards. These are the ones that I lost that were fairly useful till they were taken from me. These I guess I'm okay with losing for now. I specifically want to get Croker back because he's a pretty powerful card. And I would like to have him back. Thank you very much. So I can buy any lost cards back from Chester. Which is good. So there'll be plenty of instances where we'll be needing to Reclaim some lost cards. What do you do again? Cross pass an area surrounds you. Promised board. Tend it to make on it. More houses of Jousis remain to be conquered. Okay. So it seems we've explored everything on the airship for now. Let's continue forward with our adventure. Are you just going to say the say? Oh, wait. I saw a passenger coming forward. You see a lot of people come and go being a pilot. Your crew? That's Steadfist. The glide wings by home, and I stick it with my herd. In fact, I've stuck by Cooper, and ever since, he was running from the town constable. Anyway, that's enough for now. Let's look to the horizon. What do you say? It? Um. Oh, the story. Nah. Not now. Let's focus on finding. Okay, so I'm guessing as I continue with the game, he'll say more of his story. Another one conquer. Ooh, a shortcut to the Primore Keep Grand Hall. I'm obviously not going to go that way yet. So I do wonder how I get there. I, it's probably after I beat Eerie Manor. Either there's going to be a secret exit or something. But let's check out the Eerie Manor. 
See what this place has to offer. Oh, is this going to be like another Joustus Arena? Okay, so far, um... Oh! It's similar to the... Okay, so the other modes in... Some of the other modes in this game had something like this, where there was like a... A secret ghost hall or something like that, where it's like, you know, all ghosts. And basically, in order to advance forward, you would have to like, defeat all the ghosts. In order to advance forward. Okay, I see. Yeah, and like you'd have to defeat every ghost in every room in order to advance to the boss. Yeah, I remember this. Or at least stuff like it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, one of them didn't get hit by the light. Okay, that's okay. I can still get him there. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so so far this is fairly simple. Is this Pride More Keep? If so, it's even more shamefully squalid than I'd imagined. And oh, we're going up against this thing now. Okay. I remember this boss. It was like um that. Oh, why did I pick that up? Ah, he got me there. Yeah, I remember his attack pattern. He'll, like, keep moving across the screen. And you have to, like, hit him with light sources to really get some hits off on him. No, I... Yeah, and then there's this one where you have to, like, figure out which one's the real and which is the fake. Oh. Not getting very good hits off him. Okay. Huh. Got him there. Got him there. Huh. He hit me there, but that's okay. Then he's gonna whip out the ghost mates. Okay, just keep hitting the light for now. And then... Okay, what are you gonna... Of course, he whips out the ghosts right as I go into attack. How much health do you have? Okay, those two were the fakes. Take that. Oh, goodness. Huh! Ah! We got him. Oh, was I even paying attention to its health? Probably not. But it doesn't matter because we beat him. Because I remember that boss from other modes. It's just a basic ghost boss, nothing too special. Now we're gonna unlock the treasure area. We are. Oh, that guy! I know who that is. Uh, gold chest, old king's crypt. Let's see what we got here. All right, what do we got? Whatever royal eyes here must have loved using decrees. Powerful stuff, but they only last for one use. Why hoard them? You'll just end up like whoever left these chests here, huh? Oh, decree. Hmm. So, for royal wise here must have loved using decrees. Powerful stuff, but they only last for one use. Why hoard them? You'll end up like whoever left these chests here. Okay, I'm guessing that me. What? Okay, I thought there would be some twists, because I know some treasure areas in, like, the... Shuffle. Degree of Rejuvenation. A single-use item. Summon a friendly tropple to restore health and vigor for 20 seconds. Okay, I like restoration items. Those are nice. Except that does look pretty expensive, but at the same time... I like that kind of stuff, so let's get a move on.
Alright, and let's see what this guy has up here. Oh yeah, this guy. This guy is always really cool. The Phantom Striker. Hark! My trap has ensnared another wraith. Your kind grows bolder by the day. No, wait! I'm alive, and I'm no wraith! The scent of dark magic swirls about you like an aura of death. I've made no mistake. Perhaps it's my lucky joust, this deck? Its previous owner did bear a striking re resemblance to the Grim Reaper. But truly, how could you smell it over your own Priscillian Pong? You're the one who seems to reek of ghosts. Lies. Insolence. My patience ends here, ghost. Prepare to be banished. Oh boy. This guy's always an interesting one to say. Because he's always, like, very interesting when it comes to his fighting style, to where he's never quite pre fully predictable when it comes to his fighting style. I don't know what that thing in the middle he's doing is. That's actually new. Oh, he got me there. Ah! Alright, those are some good hits. Ah! Ha ha! Uh oh, oh, ah! Get up there! On up. Huh. Okay. Oh, I was not expecting him to fire that. What? How did he hit me? Okay, I'll admit, he's actually putting up a bit of a fight. This guy's always pretty good at an intro. He has an interesting fighting style, is what I'll say about him. Let me think here. If I want to use anything. If you do it, summon a friendly tropical restore health and vigor over time. That might be useful a little later on in this fight. Might not use it now, per se. Just to be safe. I'm gonna wait till he comes down here. Get up here. And he got me there. Ah. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh. This guy is always good at planning out his moveset. Alright, I need to get my health restored if I am to continue forward in this. Uh oh! Okay! Whoa! Whoa! Okay! I cannot see what's happening anymore. Too too much stuff's hitting me. But I got him anyway. Okay. Yeah, this guy's always a really cool guy. Like, I think some of his dialogue is also, like, can depend on, like, whether you do good against him or not, I think, as well. Because I remember in some modes of the game... Depending on whether you do good or bad, it would factor into, like, I think, like, some of the dialogue he gives and some gold he leaves behind after the battle. Now, if this is anything like the previous boss... <coughs> yeah, excuse me, sorry about that. I'm betting he's up here ready to play a game of cards. Yep, he is. Let's go. This is not a blue napkin. This is my phantom shroud. You frustrate me, ghost. <sighs> no matter... No matter. Why not settle our petty differences with justice? Yes, let's play. I'm always good with a nice game of cards. Let's see what you got here. King Knight versus Phantom Striker. Oh, we're playing outwards this time. Okay. Well then... This will make the game interesting. Now, based off what he has set up, my best course of action would be to prevent him from... I A lot of his cards seem to go left, right, or down. At least the ones he has out right now. 
So I'd want something that's good with countering that kind of stuff. So let's start with placing that one there. See where he goes next. He was placing that one there. Which will be... I think that might be my opportunity to start striking at him. Well, let's think about this carefully, because with where he could play... No, he can't really play much with that, actually. So why not start um, taking action now and start lining those up in there? Okay, he's up to something and I don't like it. Okay, he can- Oh, I see that card he has in there. I have to be careful with what I play next. Otherwise, I might not be satisfied with what I get. I gotta move that thing away. If I want to- Uh-oh. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I can- Oh, can I not move that? No, it's not my intention to move it. My intention is to do that. So I can prevent them from doing something bad. Because I get the feeling they're about to do something bad. I don't want that to happen. They just lined up all the cards to where I can just... Play against them. Okay, but I gotta make sure they can't do anything else to fight back. In other words... Let's make sure they can't place anything else along those lanes to be able to counter. So I'm going to place that there so they won't be able to fight back from that direction. Yes, that's a good move. So now those cards are as good as stuck there because they won't be able to do anything. Alright, just got to... Yes, I know, I know... I just want to make sure they can't do anything to re-counter against me, which so far it doesn't look like they can with where my cards are currently placed. So I'd say we're on the winning side of things. Or so I believe. Okay. I want to prevent them from being able to move anything. So place that there. So that way he can't do that there. Just place cards down to prevent them from being able to move anything. So I've pretty much won it at this point. Yeah, because he can't place anything anywhere. I've won this game. Perfect game. We got an absolute gem sweep out of that one. And there are a ton of good cards I can collect here. Oh, boy. I'm interested in what this has on here, because this Bone Clang Honcho... Well, first let me pick up the best one, which is the Phantom Striker. That's a good card. And then I'll take that. And then I'll take one of these Super Skeletons. So let's take the time to edit our deck. These are some really good cards. I know I want to give that up for that. The Bone Clang... Just what advantages does this give exactly? Because I notice it looks like it has some sort of power move ability on it. But I don't quite know what it's for. Nonetheless, I'm definitely adding that one in. So I think I'm going to replace it with that one. And then the Super Skeleton. What do I want to replace with the Super Skeleton? I think let's get rid of... What do I want to get rid of? Zambi or... At this point, we're starting to get our hands on some legitimate, legitimately good cards. Let's get rid of this one. So I think we're working together a pretty good looking deck. I am interested in knowing what some of those um, like symbols are starting to mean. Because I noticed that these two cards have symbols on them. I am interested in knowing what they're for. But we got all of this out of that one game. That's awesome. It's easy. Oh no, he just says the same stuff. So every time I defeat a mid-boss... A new one of them comes in. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's like my reward for being Black Knight, if I remember correctly. And, oh wait, 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 we're not done yet. I was about to get going till I forgot that we still have a ton of gold on hand. I don't think I want to spend it on the pies yet. I think first I want to have this guy uh, start continuing my picture. How exorbitant. In a way, I respect your craven demands. Indeed. Get while the getting's good. Okay, uh, oh, just you wait. The result will be transcendent. And I look forward to it. And then, before I go, I don't even know if I can afford the next meat pie from Mom. But, uh, I remember this guy said that, you know, he has, like, all this inventive stuff. Yeah, the, so there's the wealth where I'll spin to absorb nearby gold and the healing tears. Hold down to cry your heart out and restore health. This sounds interesting. I want to buy that. Because that genuinely sounds useful. So let's take that and see what that ability is about. Because that sounds... Soldier of... Bashing. It shows it there, but why is it not anywhere else? Is a question I may have. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want that. I would kind of like to stick with the dueling glove, because that's still really cool looking. Oh, I get it now. Those inventive things that guy was talking about. It's going to be like upgrades for my shovel. Uh, how is it expensive? Is the next pie going to be... Okay, next one is 6,500 gold. And this one... I could get that, but at the same time... I would also like to focus on some of those... Saving up my mills for some of the abilities. Do you have any more... Less than thought there. Not there. What's up? I'd... So, uh, like I was saying, me and Cooper go back a long time. We were... Barnstormers, real rebels. We was proper landed gentry. I, on the other hand, couldn't afford a salt lick. We both loved flying, though. But then that feathered fool disappeared, and I kept on course. What's I do? Anyway, that's enough for now. Let's look to the horizon ahead. Yes, let's look towards the horizon ahead. Okay. So we got our hands... On a bunch of useful no no I did not want to do that I did not want to go back aboard the airship though I guess while I'm here uh, no let's keep moving forward I did not intend on making any pit stops I would like to keep moving forward with the game but now that we're done with that up next is Pride More Keep, and considering how long the Lich Yard took us, yeah, I'm gonna be saving this for the next episode, and save this area for next time, because we are about running out of time, because... Yeah, not all these episodes are gonna be an directly an hour long. I never anticipated they would be that long, but... They ended up being that long anyway, but... I'm gonna be done for this episode. On the next episode... Um... We will be taking on Pridemore Keep. So there were, was this secret pathway that opened up before the Enchanted Conclave, which I'm guessing we'll get to eventually, and the Bounting Battlements. I'm sure we'll... Now I know we. it seems we can also just head straight to the Pridemore Keep Grand Hall after taking the Lichyard Path, but I think I want to enter this castle the proper way and start with the Bounting Battlements and then, you know, work my way up through these different areas. Because all of this seems interesting, and I think it'll be interesting when we actually get to the Grand Hall and see what's going on in there. We'll actually be facing our first Joustus King, I believe is what they're calling them. So, until next time, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent everyone!